From News Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. Did you enjoy today stepping outside without a big jacket on? Because last week it was downright cold. Today it felt more like spring, didn't it? A lot of clouds around though, but temperatures this afternoon reached the upper 50s and we're looking at even warmer conditions as we head into March tomorrow. 54 right now. As the sun is getting ready to set in the next few minutes, south winds at nine miles per hour. So a little bit of a breeze today, which helped to boost the temperatures. But more than that, we have some subtropical air flowing into the region. 57 today, so we're actually six degrees above the average high of 51. This morning's low of 29, pretty close to the average of 32. However, when you look at precipitation, nothing today, obviously, even though we had a lot of clouds around, but the entire month is well below normal. In fact, record dry across our area and uh, Boise Airport has only had eight hundredths of an inch of precipitation for the entire month of February and we're not likely to see much more until the month ends at midnight tonight. Uh, the previous record for the driest February at the airport was in 1997 when they had 18 hundredths of an inch. So we'd have to get at least a tenth of an inch to even come close to that. Before the airport records were being taken, we had a record of four hundredths of an inch in 1889. So that was the previous driest February, but still it doesn't bode well for our water supply. Average, we get about an inch of precipitation for the month, and last year we were very wet almost an inch and two thirds coming in during the month of February. Well, today temperatures made it into the mid to upper 40s out in the west end of the valley, all the way up into the low 50s in most other areas. Boise the warmest at 57. Twin Falls hit 50 degrees, but look at Jerome just across the river, only 39. Same for Haley and McCall, while Stanley was almost up to 50 degrees this afternoon. High pressure over the interior west, mainly south of us, putting us in a southwesterly flow with a deep low pressure trough out in the Pacific. It's tapping into a lot of subtropical moisture and this atmospheric river slamming up into Washington and Oregon with lots of heavy rain and some high elevation snow, but bringing milder air in as well. It's reaching into northern Idaho and the northern Rockies but we're just on the southern edge of that very wet flow and so we're getting a lot of clouds but not the benefits of the bulk of that precipitation. We are getting some ripples of moisture over eastern Oregon bringing some uh, snow showers and rain showers in the west central mountains but with snow levels rising up to between five and six thousand feet most of the mountain communities are seeing rain or occasionally rain mixed with snow and that'll continue on into the evening. So uh, tomorrow and Wednesday still a little bit unsettled with a chance of rain showers in the valley now and then and some rain and snow in the west central mountains snow accumulating at the highest elevations and then things start to change later in the week. So expect a few of those scattered rain showers possible late tonight and into tomorrow morning and then grinding out a little bit on through the rest of the day tomorrow and into Wednesday with a lot of clouds some mountain showers around Thursday is the day we see another cold front drop in that will lower the snow levels and temperatures back down to near normal as we head toward the weekend. So the forecast for the Magic Valley is calling for temperatures looking uh, well, in the mid to upper 40s tomorrow to near 50 degrees after morning lows in the 20s, but partly cloudy skies are expected, so dry in the Magic Valley tomorrow. Central mountain areas might see a few scattered showers up towards Stanley and Sun Valley, but temperatures will be in the low to mid 40s during the day. West Central Mountain, a little better chance of seeing some scattered rain or rain mixed with snow. McCall at 44 degrees, mid to upper 40s down through Donnelly and Cascade, and 57 in Riggins. Western Treasure Valley, Party to mostly cloudy skies with a slight chance of rain showers now and then, but temperatures in the mid to upper 50s tomorrow and uh, 60 degrees in Boise. Look at that overnight low tonight, 38 degrees. We haven't seen a low temperature above freezing since January the 7th, but here we are looking at 38 tonight and 60 tomorrow. 64 on Wednesday with a lingering chance of showers into Thursday and then cooling down Friday into the weekend. We gradually dry out by the weekend and temperatures will be close to the normal in the upper 40s. So a little spring for the next couple of days. Jim, the director took the camera right as I was going like this. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. That's not about now. But you know what? This is what people need to kind of brighten their spirits. I think we've had cold for a little too long. So this is awesome, an awesome forecast. Official spring, three weeks away. Three weeks.